There's absolutely nothing wrong with the faucet on the uh, kitchen sink in this camper, but I wish I had one that had a little detachable sprayer deal. So I'm gonna replace this. Here's the model I chose. Uh, it's a Moen Georgine 87912BL is the model. I got this at Lowe's. It was about 160 bucks. And it's one of the single hole faucets. Pretty sure the one that's in this sink now is just a two hole for the hot and cold. I don't think the actual faucet has a hole. So I probably need to end up drilling a center hole. And then it's got a plate that it comes with. It covers up the two holes that were left from the hot and cold of the old one. So after you shut off the water, make sure all the water's drained out of your, out of your lines. Um, underneath the sink, there's a hot and cold uh, threaded connection. They've got these uh, plastic fittings that are crimped onto the PEX lines that are just directly threaded onto the bottom of the faucet. Definitely not the best way to do that. Um, anyways, yeah, just unscrew those after you shut the water off. Underneath, these are like uh, threaded nuts that just hold the faucet to the bottom of the sink. Just go ahead and remove those. They shouldn't be too tight, just the uh, hand tight normally. And then once you've got those removed, just uh, set them on your dog. Uh, if you've got a dog that's helping you and uh, from there this thing just lifts right out pretty straightforward yeah i only got two holes i'll need to cut a hole in the center here's how that plate's going to cover it up so you can see the two holes underneath this just goes on top i already traced an outline where i'm going to put the center hole it'll overhang a little bit here but that's all right one and three quarter inch hole saw is all you need to make that center cut on the underside of the sink there's a uh, a washer and a nut and they give you this tool that goes up on the threads and allows you to turn it real easy it's got a long handle couldn't be easier getting that on i've fought with faucets before where you got to reach up under there this makes it so much easier so i've got i've already got hot and cold shut off valves so there's the hot that goes up to the sink and the cold that goes up to the sink. I already got shut off valves there. The trouble is, is the new lines, which you can see way back there dangling down, the braided ones, um, they're 3 8 inch connections. That's just the standard, and these are half inch fittings. So I needed to get an adapter to go from half inch to 3 8 and the only adapter I could find has a valve built into it. So I'm just going to remove the two valves I put in and replace them with. Um, kind of the way it should have been from the start. If the factory did this in a polite manner, that's how they would have done it. I'll show you in a minute. All right, so here's what I was talking about. That's the new uh, fitting that goes from half inch to three eighths, and it's got a valve on it for the hot, and then the same thing for the cold. And then if you're, if you're wondering, this one and this one goes to my exterior shower, but that's the hot water to the faucet, cold to the faucet. So if you buy this thing, um, yours is probably plumbed up like mine is you'll need to get those kind of valves so you have something to connect it to the PEX all right and that's it it's all done got a left and a right little wiggly around here turn it on you got your stream pull this guy out here move it around do what you want press this button get a spray instead then you press this button and it stops the water which is nice if you want to save some water as you're doing dishes or whatever I like the spray Put it on back and it's all set. Hot water comes down like that for hot, up for cold, shut it off. Easy peasy. This was not difficult at all. I expected this to be more of a pain in the butt than it was. Um, pretty straightforward. I don't even think you need to be much of a plumber to do this. 160 bucks at Lowe's. You saw the part number at the beginning of the video. I think it's worth it. It's a nice upgrade. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.